Um, end of day 54, whatever it is. Um, and the train stops here. Yesterday was end of day 54 and I didn't do my second workout for the day and I didn't, I fell a litre short, oh, what a litre I forgot, but the second workout didn't get done. So that's the end, that's it. And I really didn't want to make this video. And I wanted to pretend that we were still going, but I I want to live by truth and I'm, I'm not going to lie. So we stopped. By rules of the 75 hard, if you miss a day, if you don't tick off one of the boxes, you must start again. Now we made the exception when we set the rules at the start that sleep, not getting eight hours, even though eight hours was one of the requirements that it wasn't physically possible. There will be days where I physically cannot get eight hours sleep. That was that was most days, almost every single day was, was the case since I'm in my last year of study. Um, man, I, I really didn't want to make this video. I wanted to lie. I wanted to lie pretty bad. And the thing is, I could have made a video last night, but I didn't because of the sense of shame that I felt. Reason why I didn't get the second workout done yesterday was I got home from class. Uh, we, what well, we, yeah. And it would have been about 6 p.m., 6, sorry, about 7 p.m., 7.30 p.m. that I got home. And played a game of chess. Thought I had a bit of spare time. Played a game of chess started raining so i went cool no worries i'll i'll i've got time I'll, I'll give it an hour an hour passes keep in mind the first session was indoors so this session had to be outdoors and i was like cool i'll wait out the rain another hour passes another hour passes and then it gets worse and then lightning starts to hit literally over our house to the point that i thought the windows were going to shatter like our windows were rattling and explosions were going off like it was I thought, I thought we were in a bomb site um and i used that as a reason to call it um it got to 1 30 in the morning and it still didn't calm down and then a little voice crept into my head and went Let's, it said, oh, you did, you did an hour and a half of, of, of like workouts in the morning. Surely that would count. We can split that. So I went, yeah, cool. I'll do that. I'll count that as my two workouts. Went to sleep, woke up today and it's like, no, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to make excuses 
and I'm not going to try and shift the goalposts. What I set was what I set. So what does this mean moving forward? Because I could restart the 75 hard. But we're getting to the second half of the year now. The workload is picking up even more. And I already knew that doing the 75 hard wasn't good. Wasn't, wasn't, and like we've said along the way, it wasn't an optimal decision to do. Because I didn't have much time anyway. I wasn't getting much sleep. And I think I do need to sleep. So I will continue with the 75 hard. If you're familiar with David Goggins, he ran a marathon, but he uh, something really bad happened to him with his health and he had to leave the track. And because he left the track, they avoided him from the race and he acquired a, a DNF, a do not finish on this marathon, which anyway, the marathon was like 200, over 200 miles long. But he came back, he was, he was in bed at night and went, no, fuck this, I'm going to finish it came back, finished it within the race time still, but he wasn't allowed to cross the official race line. So that's essentially what I'm going to do. I'm just going to, I'm going to keep going, finish out the 75 hard, as though I had done 75 days. I will do 75 days worth of work, but just understanding that it wasn't an actual completion, not an actual success. Now that's not to say that we didn't get stuff from it. I will definitely try again at a later date. It won't be this year. Because I need to put my absolute everything into into acting and studying, etc, etc, etc. I need to be mentally at my best. And with six hours or five hours sleep, that's not my best. <clears throat> As far as a hill to fall on, this is a pretty cool hill. Um, like, there is a sense of honor in admitting honest failure and picking myself back up. That gives me the opportunity to pick myself back up. I would much, much, much rather pick myself back up than pretend I haven't fallen. Because picking myself back up will eventually lead to better results anyway than pretending I didn't fall. Um, bit of a grieving period to be expected. Um, I learned a lot and I know how to push myself and I know that I can. Going for a run isn't a slog anymore. It just is what it is. It's like, I gotta go for a run. Fucking, then just go, just go. It takes no time. There's no fight, no battle. I can, I can lock in. I would go to the gym and be so tired that I would drive there, arrive there, be falling asleep, would fall asleep in my car for about 30 minutes, wake up and go, fuck, I still need to get in there and actually do the workout. And I would go and I would do it and I'd get back home. So under those conditions, I know I can operate, which is great. Um, Still sucks though. But also let's address the failure. There was a little voice that told me to shift the goalposts and I did. Briefly, for a moment. Now let's not blow this out of proportion. All I did was lose a streak. Streaks, I think are overrated. 
Now, I'm not diminishing the 75 part. I think it, it is absolutely integral to the 75 part to succeed. But I think outside of the 75 part, I think streaks can be overrated in the sense that if you have a fall like this, recover like if i can recover quickly and start another streak to today which i have right start another one today and go ahead and do it then there's then there's, that's no problem your your duolingo what is the difference between someone who has done a 360 day streak on duolingo learning a language you drop the ball you miss a day you lose your streak but then you pick it up again and you do another 360 days Compared to someone that did 720 straight. 720 looks a lot more impressive, but the, the difference is that much. If you can if you can jump back on. Jump back on the wagon. Don't wallow. Just recover. Get back up. Keep going. And that's what I'm gonna do. Um and it actually it actually feels more honorable to finish out the 75 hard earnestly and honestly then lie to you guys pretend i didn't fail so i'm gonna leave it there it's 10 40 at night and i would like to sleep um because i have class tomorrow but i appreciate you sticking with me if you drop off i understand um i'm still gonna be here doing my shit grinding yeah so i'll see you tomorrow for honorary day 55 of the 75 hard. Jeez.